So I was just about to start a 3D print on my old Ender 3, and then this happened. So when it comes to 3D printers, it's a pretty awful sound. Turns out my end stop switch was broken. It's the problem right there. But looking at it, no problem. Just replace it and I'm good to go, right? Well, wrong. I needed this printer up and running in a day. So how did I solve this? By designing and printing my own solution. Okay, so let's backtrack a bit. When you have a moving extruder or extruder arm or print bed, an end stop switch will tell the printer when that moving piece has reached the end of its path. It's basically a mechanical switch that will depress when that piece physically bumps into it. So for me, the end stop switch for my Y axis was the one that broke. So basically my print bed did not know when to stop and kept moving backward when it had already reached the end. And that awful noise was the result. So the easiest thing for me to do was just to simply replace the switch. I checked to make sure that the replacement switch that I bought from Amazon was compatible. And even looking at the switch physically, it was a near perfect match. Okay, here they are side by side. I can hear it, you can even see it there. Plug this back in. I think we're good to go. Let's try it. But when I replaced it, the new switch immediately triggered the stop of the print bed motion, irregardless of its actual position. The problem here is that it never moves back all the way to here. So basically it was telling the printer that the bed had reached the end of its path when in fact it had not. So maybe I thought it was a faulty switch. Luckily, my replacements came in a pack of five, so I tried a different one. Same result. I double-checked the connections, made sure that the switch was not somehow shorting against the metal frame. Oh, if it were only that easy. Nothing. And here was the problem. I needed this printer up and running as soon as possible, and I simply did not have the time to reorder another switch in hopes that that one would work. So at this point, I don't have a lot of options left. I went back to the original switch in hopes that I could somehow repair it. And I realized that the switch itself was still working. It was just the metal blade that had snapped off. And the metal blade itself was nothing more than a bumper that ensured that the button underneath was pressed every time an object bumped into it. So I decided I would try to come up with my own fix. Ultimately, I figured I could design my own blade for this switch and design a new mounting bracket that would hold this blade Hopefully I would be able to reuse this old switch. So with measurements in hand into Tinkercad, I go. Uh, it only took a few attempts to get the bracket just right, getting the holes, getting the spacing just right. And rather than trying to 3D print threaded holes in this bracket, I opted to go with brass metal inserts instead. So rather than design this as one big piece with the blade already attached to the base plate, I made the blade a separate piece. So this would allow me to print the blade with the filament going lengthwise along the blade and hopefully make it stronger and less likely to break. And by printing it up separately, I could adjust the blade individually and have it set up to the right distance from the switch. So again, sketch tool was key in making this piece. It was not very hard, didn't take very long at all. So just know here, I'm not backing this up with a lot of engineering knowledge. I just went with what I felt would work, especially when it comes to the design of the blade itself. But that's the fun. That's why I like this. So with everything designed, with a few test prints, it was time to print this up and hopefully have this officially assembled, put together and working. Just one final check to make sure that the switch sat in the mount nicely, that the holes all lined up, that the blade had nice contact with the switch. And then it was time to heat set those threaded inserts. No problem, it looked awesome. And with the pieces now printed, I just wanted to make sure that the base plate would screw into place. And I wanted to make sure that the blade would have enough clearance underneath that build plate and it looked good. So then I went ahead with attaching the actual switch to the base plate. 
I could then position and glue in the blade at the proper distance from the switch. And it looked like it was going to work. So I was feeling pretty good at this point. I just let the glue dry. Once that was dry, I bolted everything in and I gave it a test run. All right, let's check it out. And it was awesome. So this video was supposed to be about just a simple end stop switch replacement, done, short, quick, and it ended up being troubleshooting, printing, measuring, but ultimately in the end, I was able to fix it. And I guess that's the video now, is this awesome opportunity with 3D printing and the ability to design your own things to print useful things, to fix things. Ultimately, whether you're trying to repair another 3D printer or something else in and around your place, designing something new, something that's useful, that really gets me going. I love being able to do that. And I think 3D printing and being able to design your own things. And yeah, I don't have an engineering degree. I don't know how to do CAD software, but I'm still able to do my own stuff and 3D print it. And if you're watching this video and in the same position, and if you're wondering whether or not this is for you, if you have the means to do it and you wanna do it, jump in. This is a great time to do it. 3D printing, you have a lot of choices when it comes to 3D printers. There are a lot of choices out there in terms of how you can design your objects. Tinkercad is the one that I really like to use. I think it's an awesome way to get started with 3D design. It's user-friendly. You've got a great support community here. And when it comes to 3D printers, you have some choices and there are a lot of great choices out there. So anyway, hope you found this entertaining. We'll see you next time.